Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Alice Fong and welcome to my Healing Around the World project. Today I have the wonderful opportunity to introduce to you Dr. Kazanthus, who is goes by Dr. Cass. Yes. <laughs> yes. She is here in Putnam, Connecticut. And she is a graduate of the University of Bridgeport, where she received her naturopathic medicine license or degree and a master's in nutrition. She also received her undergraduate degree in nutritional food science at the University of Rhode Island. She's also the vice president of the Rhode Island Association of Naturopathic Physicians. Please welcome Dr. Kaz. Welcome. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be part of this project. I think it's a wonderful thing that you're doing. Oh, well, thank you. I'm really happy and excited to have you as part of my project. Mm -hmm. Great. So tell me a little more about what, um, what was your path that led to naturopathic medicine and becoming a doctor? Yeah, sure. So I'm actually of Greek and Persian origin. So I grew up um, in a pretty healthy environment. You know, we always had good nutritious food on the table mm -hmm. and had um, the basis of the Mediterranean diet basically growing up. Um, so I always had that as a basis. Um, and my grandparents lived with me or my grandmothers lived with me mm -hmm. growing up and they used a lot of teas and herbal medicines for any ailments that they were experiencing. Experiencing or I was experiencing so I saw the benefit of that as well mm -hmm. um, and I'm actually a world traveler so one of my travels brought me to the Amazon rainforest oh, cool. so <laughs> I actually was able to see firsthand um, in the rainforest the shamans using some of those herbs for different ailments so that's really what inspired me to mm -hmm. study nutrition in undergrad and really trying to understand using food as medicine. Mm -hmm. So that really inspired me with that. And after graduating, I did a little bit more research and found naturopathic medicine with using nutrition and herbal supplements um, and homeopathy. So that's something that I've really used those three main things in my practice currently. Great. Right. Wow. That sounds like an amazing and unique experience to yeah. be in the Amazon <laughs> studying. That's awesome. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like it. Great. And what brought you to Putnam, Connecticut? So, um... I stayed in Connecticut after graduating from University of Bridgeport, which is in Connecticut, um, because Connecticut is a, a licensed state. And I grew up in Rhode Island, which was unlicensed when I graduated. So I wanted to be in a state where I could perform lab testing, do physical exams, and really benefit the patient to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. um, so now Rhode Island is licensed as Yay. of last summer, which Yay. is really exciting. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So my hope is eventually to go back to Rhode Island to bring naturopathic medicine there because there's only a few doctors practicing there right now. Great. That's wonderful. I'm yeah. sure they could use your services out there. <laughs> Great. And so what types of patients or conditions do you see here in Putnam? Well, I see all sorts of conditions, but I would say the most common ones that I see are digestive disorders. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have food sensitivities. That's mm -hmm. a really big one. And then I would say also metabolic syndrome. Mm -hmm. So being overweight, diabetes, high cholesterol, and all that in combination. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the main ones. But, you know, I see a lot of Lyme in this area as well yeah. in Connecticut. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, and what, what are some of your approaches to treating Lyme or, or your, the digestive problems? Yeah, so we do a lot of functional lab testing, mm -hmm. which I think is really important. So I always run food sensitivity testing on people. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is just getting a baseline for all lab tests in general for vitamins and minerals. Um, and also thyroid issues is really important too because I have a lot of patients who come in and say, I had these tests done and they came back normal. Right. So as a naturopathic doctor, we look at the optimal ranges, not just the normal ranges. So mm -hmm. it's really important to look at um, getting people into the optimal state of health rather than just looking at the normal ranges right. that um, primary care physicians usually look at. Um, so we definitely start with all of that baseline testing just to get um, the most important values and that's where I start basically. 
Great. Yeah. That's a great way to start. <laughs> great. And if you could offer a piece of advice to someone who had limited access to health care or just wanted to take charge of their health and feel better in their life, what what are some pieces of advice you might offer? Sure. So I would say um, the most important thing is to have the right foods for yourself. Um, what I mean by that is that we live in a convenient society, so mm -hmm. everything is about right. fast food, you know, eating out, packaged foods, box foods. So when you're going to the grocery store, I would say the easiest thing for you is to stay on the perimeter and buy mm -hmm. the fresh produce and not go into the middle aisles. So trying to avoid box items or packaged foods. Um, but I think frozen foods in terms of like frozen vegetables and mm -hmm. fruits are definitely acceptable and can be less expensive than fresh options and can last longer. Ooh. So that's, a, I think, an easy thing for patients to use. And then the other thing I think most people forget about is water. Mm -hmm. So water is one of the essential um, nutrients that we actually need. So most people think that they're staying hydrated with coffee or soda or juices, mm -hmm. but they're not getting actual water intake. Right. So I would say to calculate how much water you should be having, you want to take your weight and divide it by two. Mm -hmm. So what that number is, is how many ounces of water you should be drinking. So for example, if you're 100 pounds, you want to divide that by two, which would be 50. So you should be drinking 50 ounces of water per day. That makes sense. Yes, yeah. I definitely need to be drinking more water myself. Yes. We all do. Yes. Was there anything else you'd like to share with the people out there who want to get healthier? Um, I would say also it's really important to surround your people, uh, yourself with people that mm -hmm. are healthy mm -hmm. and will support you because I find that the patients that do the best have the best support system. Mm -hmm. So if you have people around you that, you know, make fun of you for mm -hmm. removing your food sensitivities or trying to eat healthy, try to stay away from them <laughs> um, because that can really discourage you and really impact your own own journey to health. So trying to stay around people that are positive and really supportive of you will be the best for your overall health. Yeah, absolutely. That's such a critical factor that we don't always take into account that the people we're around influence whether we succeed or don't succeed with our health journeys. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Great. Well, Dr. Kaz, thank you so much for being a part of my project. Thank you. <laughs> Great. And thank you, everyone, for watching, and please share this video and future videos with everyone you know and spread the word about healing around the world. <laughs>